Hey everybody, welcome to the real United States. One of the things that comes out during the Cherry Blossom Festival, it seems to coincide with it, is the Bradford Pear. Now Bradford Pear has a white blossom, very prolific. If you're not uh, familiar with these trees, it might be easy to mistake one for the other, I suppose. But the Bradford Pear, unlike what its name sounds, is a, it's a pear, but it's a very small pear. It's about the size of a small cherry or a crab apple. No, not even as big as a crab apple. It's like a marble-sized pear. It's not something that people cultivate for the fruit. It's an ornamental tree because it has these beautiful big blooms. We're going to swing up and we're going to show you the blooms that come out on the Bradford pear. Now, as you can see, the big clusters are very similar to what the Yoshino cherries do here in the Washington, D.C. area. Beautiful trees, very gorgeous, at least for those of us who aren't from this area, because the Bradford pear actually is considered an invasive species. These trees are native to Vietnam and China. They were introduced here, and they now can be found in 153 countries and 25 states in the United States. Now, not all of them produce fruits that have fertile seeds. But because of crossbreeding and these sorts of things, there are certain species or cultivars, at least, that are able to reproduce with their little fruits, and they become an invasive species because they produce horrific amounts of fruits, as you can tell from the horrific amount of blossoms. So these fruits are fall, they're eaten by the birds, the seeds are then discarded in the fecal matter of the birds, and they take root and they grow everywhere. So they are very rapid growing trees and they're very prolific, and so they in some cases are overtaking natural, normal growth woods here in, at least in the Maryland and Virginia area. Here in Maryland, they are absolutely everywhere. And again, they're a very beautiful tree. A lot of places plant them deliberately as ornamentals. Now where we are right now, along this roadway, they've been planted deliberately as an ornamental tree. They give nice shade in the summertime, beautiful blooms in the spring. And so people bring them in and deliver it from nurseries and deliberately plant them. But unfortunately, some of these cross pollinate and become fertile and they just are overrunning the entire area. So I don't know that there's anything being done about them as an invasive species like there are in some things like, you know, bugs and fish and those sorts of things that are invasive species. But they are considered an invasive species here in Maryland. But despite that, they're a beautiful tree. And if you are through this area during the Cherry Blossom Festival time, it's uh, very beginning of March, very beginning of April, rather, you're going to see these everywheres. And we'll try maybe later on in the year to get back. Maybe just as a very brief episode, we'll show you the little fruits that come out just in mass. A tree like this, I guess, will produce a couple of bushel of them. It's just, it's just something to behold. Beautiful trees, though, that Now, the wood is usable. And pear wood is considered one of the finest grains woods there are. I don't know if any of this is actually harvested commercially and used and you know, sawed for furniture and those sorts of things, but certainly pear wood is a very nice wood. So maybe it's an opportunity for somebody, an entrepreneur, to take advantage of this because it grows virtually everywhere. So anyway, I just wanted to share with you one of those things that's kind of interesting here locally in Maryland. and. Uh, well, this time of year, certainly very beautiful. So thank you for joining us on this short episode about the Bradford Pear. I hope you've enjoyed this. If you haven't already, I encourage you to pick, subscribe, and come along for the adventure. You got questions or comments? I will try and answer them. Leave them in the comments section below. I love hearing from all of you. I try to get back to everybody I can. And as always, thank you for watching.